how do you how do you cancel Blue's dad? Like how do you do how do you do that? In case you haven't heard, Chris Pratt has been attacked as a white supremacist after not being part of an Avengers-themed virtual fundraiser for Joe Biden. The funny thing is, he wasn't the only person not to attend. Curiously, despite the absence of several notable eligible American voters among the Avengers, including Robert Downey Jr., Iron Man, Jeremy Renner, Hawkeye, and Elizabeth Olsen, Scarlet Witch, users on social media took specific issue with Pratt's non-attendance, with many angered by their own assumptions that his aversion to supporting the Biden candidacy meant that he was a supporter of President Donald Trump. Here's what they had to say. Damn it, I'm literally just finding out that Chris Pratt is a Trump supporter and I'm so messed up behind that, wrote children's author and really American senior advisor Majid M. Padelan. Gwat Thought wrote, Chris Pratt being a MAGA dummy really was not something I was mentally prepared for. <laughs> what? And of course it couldn't end there, it had to go to the most extreme of all. Cinematic Smith posted a picture of Regina King's character from HBO's Watchmen discovering a KKK uniform in the closet of the character Judd Crawford alongside a caption that reads, Chris Pratt's closet be like, implying the actor was an outright white supremacist. Here's the thing, and I love this part about the article. They actually went so far as to pull up his contributions, his political contributions to particular candidates, only to find that he has actually contributed to Tulsi Gabbard, who is a registered Democrat and represents Hawaii's 2nd Congressional District. He donated $2,000 to her 2020 presidential campaign. It's like all they know how to do is to create these narratives in their head based on nothing but assumptions and then attack the person based on the narrative they've created, not based on any actual facts, not based on reality. Others accuse Pratt of being anti-LGBT and a supporter of gay conversion therapy, again, without any evidence, based solely on his attendance of the Hillsong Church, a church that holds traditional Christian thought on gay lifestyles and gay marriage. Pratt previously responded to similar accusations levied at him by Ellen Page by saying that he was a man who believes that everyone is entitled to love who they want, free from the judgment of their fellow man. But somehow, somehow, what they hear is something quite different. Vote for Rob Gill said, Chris Pratt thinks it's acceptable for a church to literally torture LGBT kids until they say they're straight. Pratt 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 is a monster for defending conversion therapy. Another user, Five Sexual Simi, pointed to the bio of an unspecified Chris Pratt social media account, which featured a variation of the same bio Pratt uses on his personal accounts and said that Chris Pratt's bio radiates homophobic Christian supremacist energy. All because it says, I love Jesus, my wife and family, Seahawks fanatic, MMA junkie. At this point, it's just, it's reached a level of insanity. People who believe this, who espouse these kinds of views, who have this much hate and anger inside them, I don't know that they can come back from this. But it didn't end there. It did not end there. Chris was under full-fledged attack all over social media, all over Twitter. But guess what happened? Something they didn't expect. Something they didn't expect happened. Robert Downey Jr came to Chris's defense. Iron Man actor Robert Downey Jr. took to Instagram to not only defend Chris Pratt, but chided those attacking him for his faith and his perceived political opinions. Robert Downey Jr. wrote, What a world. The sinless are casting stones at my brother, Chris Pratt. 
He went on to describe Pratt as a real Christian who lives by principle, has never demonstrated anything but positivity and gratitude, and he just married into a family that makes space for civil discourse and just plain facts insists on service as the highest value. Downey Jr. then gave some advice to those attacking the Guardians of the Galaxy actor. If you take issue with Chris, I've got a novel idea. Delete your social media accounts. Sit with your own defects of character. Work on them. Then celebrate your humanness. Finally, he concluded the post writing, Chris Pratt, I got your back, back, back. That is a true friend. But it also speaks to the courage that we all have to have when we see people who are being bullied for absolutely no reason whatsoever. There also has to be pushback against this mob that is demanding that people choose a side. Believe it or not, there are people who aren't beholden to any particular political party or party line or at the very least, don't want to get involved in fundraising for a politician. Chris Pratt isn't doing anything besides trying to live his best life. He's trying to serve others and spread joy when and where he can. And even that isn't good enough. But thankfully, Twitter isn't the real world. And those who want to be mad can stay mad. But hey, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think about this insanity that is Twitter and this cancellation obsession. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.